Alrighty, good morning guys, it's Doug here, and today we are going to be going on a very special trip to Babylon, Iraq, the ancient city of Babylon. I'm so excited to discover it, and we're also going to be learning a lot about the recent history having to do with Saddam Hussein, and we might even get to take a tour of one of his abandoned palaces, which looks absolutely incredible and super interesting. So I am really excited, it's going to be a great day, let's go. Ali was just telling us uh, those boys were saying something to us in Arabic and we weren't understanding and he said they were saying this is the first time we've ever met an American in real life because we're kind of on the outskirts of the city just stopped off on the side of the road so pretty interesting. Assalamu alaikum. Ah, I'm Amriki. I'm American. I'm Nice to meet you bro. Habibi. Uh, Zane. American. Trump. 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 You like him? Trump. Oh. Oh. He's going to go. He's going to go. Okay. Go, go, go. Shira, go. Yes, no, no, no. I love you, America. We love you too. We love you three. We love you four. I love you five. I love you 25. Wow. <laughs> Yeah. I'm an American. Wow, your hair is beautiful. I'm an American holder. I'm American hair. Hey, American holder. Ah. Which is Miss Sora? Ah. Sora, I'm an American. Masalama. All right guys, we've arrived at the archeological site of Babylon, We're going to explore one of the world's oldest cities from over 3,000 years ago. We are here now in the theater. It's obviously a reconstruction as you can see, but it's built on the site of the original theater from thousands of years ago. Basically, they discovered the foundation of the ancient theater and have reconstructed this here. And there have been Babylon festivals held here and they're still working on renovating it and building it up. You can see they're designing a stage down there right now, so there will be more events held here in the future. And, uh, it's pretty impressive. So guys, something super interesting that Ali was just telling us. The mural behind me was built in the Saddam era, and you can see if you look closely, it still has the old Iraqi flag with the three stars on it. So when Saddam came into power, the flag had just the three stars in the middle. And then after the Gulf War, he decided to basically pretend to be more Islamist and, and try to use that to bolster some support from uh, the Muslim population. So he added the phrase Allahu Akbar to the flag, which just means God is the greatest. And he actually did it in his own handwriting. Unbelievable. So then after the US invaded in 2003, they finally got rid of Saddam's handwriting, of course, uh, and made it in a, you know, a printed style on the flag. And eventually they dropped the stars uh, from the design. And now it just says Allahu Akbar in the, uh, in the printed text. Super interesting. Alrighty guys, we've arrived at the next site here and right behind me is the Ishtar Gate. Well, actually it's a reconstruction of the Ishtar Gate because back in the late 19th century, this place was discovered by some German archeologists from what I understand. And unfortunately they decided to take most of the facade of the original gate and now it is in Berlin. Okay, hey, hey, hey. <laughs> Get out of here. So guys, Babylon was the largest city in the world in 1700 BC to 1600 BC, at which point it was conquered or defeated by some nomads or uh, tribal groups. But then Babylon came back with a vengeance, Babylon 2.0, if you will. And it was the largest city in the world again from around 600 to 300 BC. And it was also the first city in the world to reach a population of over 200,000 people. So guys, I was just hearing, as different powers came into this region and continued to populate and build this city, they would basically just build their new city on top of the foundations of the old city. So as a result, there are layers and layers over hundreds and hundreds, maybe thousands of years of uh, civilization here. In fact, 90% of uh, what they estimate used to be Babylon is still underground. So you say this door, yes, eight meters, yes, deep, yes, wow. 
But why wear this closed mm -hmm. water under? The water, so it would hurt uh, the building? This boat buried because protection for foundation. Ha, huh, okay. okay. Okay, so they, they ended up filling this in with dirt during the Saddam era to protect, to protect uh, the structure, the ancient structure, basically, from, from water and flooding. Guys, you can see the different levels of the city here, at least a little bit. We are standing up here, and down there is one of the original levels. It's like two stories, three stories, maybe down. Oh, that was loud. So the original gate was on top of there. Yes. And this is the first building, this. Wow. If you have a problem, the king, water here. So that original Ishtar gate that is now in Germany was likely on top of this gate, which is the, the original one. And you can see some similar inscriptions on it. So this is the water. Wow. So the water level is right there, and that's why they don't want to dig anymore. But another dynasty for Hammurabi under. There's another one. Yes. Wow. So this is ancient cuneiform, cuneiform text. text. Okay. The king Abu Khadnasr II, he used to write uh, his achievements on, 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 on the walls. So right here it says that I am Abu Khadnasr II. I'm the first born of Abu Blasar, his father. And I have rebuilt the gates of Babylon. I have rebuilt the, the temple of of Nabu, and this is really important because there's a twist on the end of the tour I want to show you. Stay tuned, there's a twist coming at okay. the end. So this is original, huh? Yes, you can. I think you can't touch it. Should I? You <laughs> can. They have plenty of it. So guys, believe it or not, this, this, like one of the oldest civilizations in the world, only became a UNESCO World Heritage Site in 2019, two years ago. And that is largely thanks to Saddam Hussein. You'll notice a recurring theme in these videos, I'm sure, because he reconstructed these or restored them in such a way that basically went against the UNESCO guidelines and made it very complicated for this site to qualify for uh, UNESCO World Heritage Site designation. However, like I said, it did finally qualify and you can see uh, some of the guys up there are uh, working they're they're probably from UNESCO our guide was saying so they are finally um, really putting some some great work into this site guys look at this so this is really old cuneiform writing and the way they made these they were mud bricks and they would put these prints uh, and then they would leave them out in the Sun to dry and harden and there's several bricks that have wild animal prints. So this, he's saying, was a fox. This is wolf, right? Yes. Oh, wow. <laughs> so you can see animal prints from thousands of years ago in the bricks today. It's pretty, pretty cool. So you're saying that there's a, there's a temple down here, 12 meters? Yes. That, uh, an entire temple underground right now from the first phase of Actually, Babylon, old, a old Babylon. <laughs> a whole city. We built this original foundation of Nabuchadnezzar time, above of uh, the same foundation of Hammurabi's city. The difference, like 1,000 years or so. Well, you should take wow. it in, in your perspective that, uh, for example, the time between between Nabuchadnezzar and Hammurabi is like the time between us and, and the Roman Empire. So that's insane. So exactly. Took a lot of time. And okay. Saddam here again, he tried to copy, copy them. Like Hammurabi was great, Nebuchadnezzar was great. So here I am. I I, I try. He said, like I am great too. So I built under. <laughs> so he uh, built on top the of these ancient as, as ruins. Well. So yeah. yeah, that's why he built yeah. also his palace. Uh huh. Uh, uh, above the city. So yes. we're gonna go to one of Saddam's palaces, which you can see just out here behind me. But we're gonna go there in a little bit. So guys, take a look at this wall. It's literally. The entire section of the wall is falling, and they've built this structure to, to keep it up, and they're constantly working on restoring it. This would not be a good place to be if this wooden structure decided to quit. <laughs> All right, guys, so we're here in Ninmach Temple, or the Great Lady, and I was just hearing about a, uh, an ancient Babylonian custom. This one's going to blow your minds. Um, <clears throat> during the Babylonian times, the uh, tradition, the custom was for the priest figure at that time, you know, the head of the, the temple here, to uh, sleep with every uh, potential wife of every marriage in the city before approving the marriage. 
<laughs> so that was to uh, give the blessing of God to the marriage. So the priest, there would be a potential couple that want to get married, and the priest would sleep with the woman from every marriage in the society. Yes, beautiful. So guys, on this lion statue, you can see you got the lion and he's basically standing on top of a, of a person mauling them. The lion uh, was meant to symbolize Babylon and its strength and the person currently being mauled was uh, to serve as a warning to their enemies and these statues, apparently there are many of them, but this is the only one that's been recovered. These statues were placed at the entrance to the ancient city as a warning essentially to to any potential enemies. So guys right here you can see some of the original ruins of Babylon. They were discovered in 2002 and our guide was saying uh, he used to work here on the excavation efforts uh, until the US invasion when everything basically stopped in 2003. It's so unbelievably hot out. <laughs> Sorry for um, repeating that every video but it's it's it <laughs> It's insane. You'd think by day three or four, whatever this is, I would get used to it, but no, no. <laughs> it's so hot here. One of the issues we've kind of been facing the past few days is all of our cameras are, are overheating to the point that they're almost painful to touch <laughs> and hold. And uh, like Jay is actually going back to the car right now because he's got a big DSLR with a lens on it and it's it's like too hot. Like He's worried it could have damage. So. Yeah, it's 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 so hot. I mean, you you just it's it's crazy. <laughs> so guys, Alexander the Great was passed away here, right here, in, huh? In, in this spot. But why Babylonian liked Alexander the Great from the first place to come here and to rule Babylon? Because he was the liberator. He liberated Babylon from the Persian control at that time. Uh, since then, Iraq became. Uh, uh, most welcome people for international or foreign liberators, <laughs> unfortunately. <laughs> oh, jeez. <laughs> so this is also like a cuneiform tablet of the Muhammad Nasser, uh -huh. when he mentioned that he, he's the god and he, he the builder of that great city, etc., etc. We have another thing interesting that Saddam Hussein copied that too. And we can take you and take you guys. We will show you. Okay, في عهد المنصور صدام حسين رئيس جمهورية العراق حفظه الله حامي العراق العظيم تبي تقرأها وحامي حضارته something like ومجده ونهضته ونهضته he said I'm Saddam Hussein في عهد المنصور صدام حسين I'm the president of Iraq Republic of Iraq uh, protector of the great Iraq and his civilization and uh, it was the reconstruction of the city of the of city of Babylon for the first for third the time. third time so Hammurabi first uh -huh. and Nasser second and he is the third oh my gosh he mentioned this date in in, in Hijri which is the Islamic calendar mm -hmm. and then he mentioned the uh, 1989 and uh, then he said uh, as we uh, added as we added a new building which is the his palace inspired by the original Palace that was instructed, yeah, that was established by Nebuchadnezzar in 605 BC. Wow. So Saddam followed the example of the ancient rulers. You can see this one is in Arabic, not the uh, ancient cuneiform language, but he, yeah, he left his mark as well. <sighs> Am I red? A little bit. It's unbearable. Luckily back at the car we have a cooler with a bunch of ice and water bottles so we're all just rubbing ice on our faces and necks and arms and squeezing ice water on our heads. You can literally see the ice melting in your hand like it, you can like see it shrinking. It, it, it's, it's, it's insane. Alright guys we've made it up to one of Saddam Hussein's many palaces. Oh, 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 oh,